I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn a technique of answering periodic functions related question in a very simple way. The question here is the average monthly temperature T in degree Celsius for any month T from the town of some place is modeled by the function T of T equals to 19.1 sine of pi T over 6 plus 4.2 plus 7.5. For t equals to 0, the month is January. What is the maximum average monthly temperature? What is the period of function and what does it mean? Determine the month with minimum average monthly temperature and when is the average monthly temperature about 24 degrees Celsius? You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now let's begin with the very first one which is what is the maximum average monthly temperature. Now you are given a sinusoidal function maximum will be x is plus the amplitude right because sine of anything could have maximum value of 1 so that is how we analyze it. So the maximum is actually equals to 19.1 plus 7.5 you don't have to do any other calculations reason is very simple. For maximum, the maximum value of this function is equals to 1. So if I put 1 here, I get 19.1 times 1, which is 19.1 plus 7.5. So that is your answer. You can use your calculator. 19.1 plus 7.5 equals 2. And write it in decimals. 26.6. Correct. So that becomes your maximum average monthly temperature in degree Celsius. Now degree Celsius is important to write. Now the second part is what is the period of function and what does it mean? Now the period can be found from the coefficient of t here right which is pi by 6 that is a k value. So the period could be written as 2 pi by k. So period is 2 pi by k which is pi by 6. So it is pi by 6 and that is pi pi cancel. 6 times 2 is 12. So period is 12. What does it mean? That means the temperature varies yearly, right? So after every 12 months it varies. This is in months, right? So that is what it means. C. Determine the month with minimum average monthly temperature. So now we have to find the month which has minimum average monthly temperature. Now when do we have minimum? We have minimum when sine of this is equals to minus 1. So you can you can solve for like this. You can do what is sine of minus 1 equals to and equate that to pi t over 6 plus 4.2 right. We are working in radius correct so that is how you could find the minimum average monthly temperature that is one way of doing it the second way of doing it is that you know in a sine function this kind of like this the minimum occurs at three quarter of the cycle and in this case the cycle is more 4.2 units left so three quarter of the time period minus 4.2 will also give you the minimum uh, average monthly temperature right so that is also a way of doing it but let's follow what I was saying that is we'll do step by step here so we do shift sine inverse and we'll find what is of sine inverse of minus 1 equals to so it is minus pi by 2 right so minus pi by 2 is same as 3 pi by 4 that is exactly the same thing correct so both are same now in this minus pi by 2 that is pi t over 6 plus 4.2 should be equals to minus pi by 2. So you take away from this minus pi by 2 4.2 right and then you multiply by 6 and then you divide by 3.14 and you get minus 11.02. So determine the month with minimum average monthly temperature so it is minus 11 right so we got minus 11 so so that means minus 11 is going towards 
left of January. Do you get the point? So that is one way of finding the minimum temperature. Okay? The other way, as I was saying, is we could use three quarter of the time period. So three quarter of the time period is we say 12 times 3 divided by 4 equals so that is 9 and from 9 we could because that gives you minus 1 we have to move 4 point actually I should first factor this I'm sorry before doing that I need to factor and then rewrite this equation so let me do that first and I could rewrite this equation as 19.1 sine of pi by 6 and then I get t plus 6 times 4.2 right 6 times 4.2 over pi so that is that is the phase shift actually now since that is kind of a complicated part we will stick to our minus 11 calculation right so I hope that makes more sense that is this could be minimum is minus 1 so you get say minus 11 right so minus 11 means what so minus 11 means December for you. So January is f 0. So we say we start with January. Let me write down here. So we have 0. That is January, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I mean 10, 11. I mean 11. And then again 0, right? So 12th month will be January again. So February, March, April, May, June. So let's say May. June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So December is 11 for you and then January, 0. Do you see that? Now if I am saying minus 11, then I am coming back 11 here, right? Minus 11 from January. So we do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you reach in February. So the month is February. Do you understand? That is how you could find the month very easily. So equate this term to minus pi by 2, right? So then solve for it. So we found it by knowing that sine, see here, sine, right? So minimum is at minus pi by 2. Do you see that? So we will do pi t over 6 plus 4.2 equals to minus pi by 2. Solve for t. So when we solve for t, we found t is approximately minus 11 and that gives us February as our solution. Okay, last part is when is the average monthly temperature above 24 degrees? So that means we have to solve for the equation 24 equals to 19.1 sine of pi t over 6 plus 4.2 plus 7.5. Now to solve for this, you take away 7.5, so we get 24 minus 7.5, then you divide by 19.1, correct? Then you take sine inverse of this, then you take sine inverse of this. When you take sine inverse, you get pi t over 6 plus 4.2, and then you solve for t, correct? So, so we did all these calculations, this kind of a review, so we are working fast on it. So let's do this calculation. It's shift sign inverse and it is 24 minus 7.5 right so that is within the brackets and this we will divide by 19.1 and then for sign we have to put this whole bracket right so let me put the bracket here also so that is sign inverse of all this and this is 1.04 right so we get this equals to 1.0429 from 1.0429 take away 4.2 right so now we will do the second calculation that is 1.0429 take away 4.2 multiply by 6 divide by pi to get t okay so we get t like this so from here we will take away 4.2 equals to multiply by 6 divide by 3.14 so we get approximately equals to minus 6 correct so when you get minus 6, again start with January, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that is the month, right? So that is which month? January, February, March, April, May, June, July. So in July, 
you get 24 degrees as your average monthly temperature. So that is how you can solve such questions. I hope that helps. I have less space here and that's why I have combined so many calculations in single chart. But I hope when you do it, you can do it in steps and get to the right answer. Anyway, you appreciate what I've done and that is to find the maximum temperature equate sine of theta to 1 that is you know 1 so that is you know sine will give you maximum at pi by 2 then solve for t for minimum minus pi by 2 solve for t right so that is how you should be doing it I hope that helps thank you and all the best